Hello, I'm Amanda Rueda, and I am the Senior Product Manager with Product Planning, and I want to show you how you can utilize issue health status to power your workflow. So first things first, what is health status? It's a field on the issue that allows you to display whether the issue is on track, needs attention, or is at risk. This allows you to track the, track the risk in meeting your plans, signal to others in an asynchronous fashion the status of the issue, and it allows you to incorporate this status into other daily um, and routine workflows, which I'm going to show you some examples of next. So this is an example of an issues list, a very useful tool because it's super flexible. It allows you to slice and dice the, the issues um, using the filters. Here I'm demonstrating just the filtered list um, by the milestone start date or the, the current milestone. And just in this view, it's already very useful because I can see at a glance the health status in these labels here. It needs attention, at risk. So it's very easy to see the status of what's going on in the current milestone. I could even slice this even further by assignee, by a label, um, and I could get very concise information and include that health status. Also in the issues list, I can bulk edit the issues to assign health status. So in this case, let's imagine it's the beginning of the milestone and I have a few issues that need um, health status assigned. I can filter for the milestone that started, health status is null, and bulk assign on track to these issues. Because the issues may roll up to an epic and sub epics, we can pass that health status all the way up into the epic view as well. So here we have the, the very parent project, which is the parent epic. And I can see quickly there are two issues at risk and I can quickly drill down into the sub epic because I can see that those are contained in the sub epic. I can then drill down further to see the specific issues which are at risk. And then I can reach out to the person assigned to them and find out what the problem is. This is a really nice view for um, the stakeholders, for executives, and for folks who aren't in the day-to-day -day issues to be able to see how a project is tracking. I really like issue boards as a product manager because I can see all of the work that's um, in progress for the milestone by different labels like workflow or um, other things. And in this view, I can very quickly see what the status is in each of these lists. I can also filter down to say, you know what, just show me those that are at risk or just show me those that need attention, which is a very powerful um, and efficient way to find out how things are going without having to ping somebody and disrupt their day. This view is especially nice for engineering managers because they could have a view by assignee, for example, and quickly see how things are tracking for the current milestone. Um, in this case, I see that this top issue is on track, but it is blocking these two, which are set to needs attention. And so since the blocking issue is on track, maybe I don't reach out because I expect that the needs attention issues will um, resolve as long as the blocking issue stays on track. But you can see how um, this health status in the board view can be useful for more than one role, the product manager, the EM, the designer, what have you. Okay, lastly, I wanna chat with you about um, how we can enable health status here in GitLab internally and dog food it in a more automated fashion. So, so far I've showed you how to set it manually, but we've just recently implemented um, TriageBot, uh, a policy on TriageBot, which will automatically set the value for you if you choose to. So why are we doing this? It's because it's um, going to allow us this asynchronous process to raise visibility of the status or risk of an issue. And so how does it work? So the first step is um, you must apply the label track health status to your issues if you want the bot to automatically do this for you. Um, what is it doing? So it's, um, if the issue doesn't have an assignee by the sixth and in the current milestone, it will set the status to needs attention. 
by the 14th, if there's still no assignee, it will update to at risk. And if the issue is open, but without the workflow label in review or verification after the 14th, it will also set at risk. So I wanna note that um, if you are using the triage bot policy on your issues and you manually set the health status on an issue, the triage bot will ignore it. So it allows the manual overrides to take precedence. I also wanna mention that the rules are super flexible. Although these are global rules, you are allowed to go into the file that drives um, this data or this policy rather, and modify it for your teams. If you think there's something that you would um, like to see and all of the teams would benefit from it, feel free to implement it and just communicate. If you want something specific to your team, you're more than welcome to create a, a custom section of the policy for your group using um, like group labels, for example. Currently, I wanna note that the bot runs twice a month but we are soon um, going to update this job to run daily. Okay, I just wanted to tease a little bit here. We have a couple of things in um, our current milestone or our next milestone, and that is being able to edit the status of the, the I'm sorry, edit the health status in the board view on the right pane, um, being able to sort the issue list by health status, so ascending or descending, by the, the health status. Um, I already mentioned that we're updating the triage bot to run daily. And I'd like to ask you for feedback if you'd like to participate in dog fooding this feature. And you can give us feedback on both the health status as well as the health, the health status triage bot policy. Um, I would love to learn more about how you're using it, how you envision we could use it in the future so that we can make um, this feature more valuable to our customers. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.